game. Today I have Orange Song OS T12 Bluetooth Sports Neckband. Uh, they come on this box with a magnetic flap, pretty nice. Um, these are neckbands, so there's literally nothing else which is hanging around. In the box, These are the headphones. With the headphones, there is a micro USB charging cable, and you get a user manual. Okay, so user manual has uh, information about how to pair the headphone, the earphones, what the LED means. Uh, thankfully, correct English and write instructions right here and only in English. And two pairs of earbuds. Uh, these come with medium attached on them. Uh, usually, I swap them off with the small one because that's where they have a better fit on my ear. But for these, the medium worked perfectly fine. A micro USB cable for charging. Uh, the first import, first thing that actually comes out is the weight on these. These are extremely lightweight. And as compared to certain other uh, earphones on, on, of this type, uh, there are lots of, uh, you know, you would have a lot of wire coming around and hanging around. But in this case, the, is, there's literally no wire that hangs around because these are neckbands. And that's why you wear them. Right here. The front and the back. All the controls for for this earphone is on the right hand side. There are three buttons. The main is the power on and off button, and then there are two buttons at the bottom, which is the volume up and down and uh, change of track. You can also dial the recently dialed number by pressing it thrice. Uh, they have a HD microphone on them. They last about four to five hours. Uh, both them across multiple days for that much duration. The most impressive thing about these is the sound quality. I have not heard this level of bass and the depth of bass coming out from a headphone this size at all. Of course, I've got a couple of other headphones which produce a phenomenal amount of bass, but this is something different. Um, the clarity of the bass, the depth of it, the crispness of it, is really worth the price that you would pay for this, which is uh, $23.99 is what it is retailing at, uh, and that's pounds on, on the Amazon UK. Um, the pairing of this is easy. I'm gonna just go ahead and pair it with my, with my phone. I am gonna turn on the Bluetooth here. I'm gonna hold and press. So a long hold, a long press would actually give you this flashing light, which is red and, uh, red and blue. And once that is there, you go to your, um, your phone, go to the Bluetooth, and you pick up the, the device. So this is the OST12 device at the bottom. I'll go ahead and pick it up. And the moment that happens, this will turn blue to confirm. And this also has audio cues on it. So rather than just getting certain beeps that you have to decipher, uh, you know, over a period of time on what that beep means or intelligently figure out that this beep, uh, I think it's connected or not connected kind of thing. So an audio cue to me is uh, uh, better than just getting a beep in it. So that's there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, play a song. Of course, you can't hear it, but I'll just put it next to my microphone and see how that works. So I'm not sure if you can hear that correctly, but the the bass on this is extremely rich, extremely rich.
a lot of headphones could possibly produce a, a deep bass at a particular level. So you might have noticed that when you have a headphone on 20%, 30% volume, it's kind of okay. But to get really into the depth of the bass and to get the uh, richness of it, you have to really push the volume up uh, to as high as possible. And the moment that you go on to the topmost part of it, which is about 70, 80%, 80, 90% of the volume, it starts cracking. Something starts cracking. I mean, at the end of the day, from a driver unit, which is as small as this, there's only so much sound that you can actually genuinely produce. Uh, most of that is just amplification of the, you know, the, the music or the, or the sound. And that amplification by itself does not really mean that you have um, you know, great quality output that is coming through. But in this case, I've noticed that the, the depthness on, and the richness of the bass is there all the way from 10% you know, volume, which is just one bar on, on, on the phone, all the way to the maximum. And the maximum really gets uncomfortable to wear, you know, on, on, you know, wear while listening because it's really loud. But it did not break any of the, any of the bass. It did not break any of the treble. It did not really become noise. It was, it was still good music that, that I enjoyed. Um, the other thing is the, the way this fits on the ear. Uh, like you've seen that all the controls are on the right hand side and I'll talk about the controls in just about a minute. So the way this sits right here, it is slightly different from some other uh, headphones that you would see which have, um, you know, something like this as the, as the setup. Now this is slightly different from this one because, you know, you have an angle which is quite similar, but here it has the space for you know there's space for you to push it inside your ear canal but in here there isn't much let me illustrate what i mean by that so you can see the amount of extension which is there for it to go inside the ear is like you know 400 person on this one as compared to this one and as a result this tends to sit you know just on the periphery of the of the ear now, it is good in a way that it doesn't really sit all the way inside because a couple of things for the headphones or for the earphones that actually sit on the inside and have the controls right on the headphone itself. The problem is anytime that you work on these controls, changes in the positioning are transferred through this connection back into your ear and that is uncomfortable sometimes because one, there's a vacuum that you form with this specific ear cup. And the second is that it's just so very well, so nicely snuggled and fit inside the ear that any slight bit of touch on that, uh, you know, causes a bit of irritation or pain or discomfort inside the ear. So if for anything like this, I mean, it's a good idea to have a control which is separate. And as a result of that, you would have to have a wire which is hanging. In this case, there is no wire. You have everything which is on the neck band. And uh, to make that happen, the control has to sit right here on the, on the ear itself. And this doesn't translate, the touch doesn't translate to, um, you know, any movement inside. The other thing that you would look at is that if I have to change the volume, I, the normal position would be to hold this thing from top and bottom and go ahead and change the volume or change the track. In that way, I mean, I'm actually holding, I'm actually holding the 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 entire piece of the earphone, uh, and I'm really moving it, rather than randomly just pressing any any button right here, which translates to some change in the position or any other thing. So long and short of it is that it's uh, the design is very well. A lot of headphones that I've seen in past, or let me say earphones that I've seen in the past, come awesomely well packaged. Um, and just shitty products, you know, shitty design to a point that it took me 20 minutes to just open the box, you know, carefully. Uh, you know, I was very excited because if the box is so good, just like Apple, if the packaging is so good, if somebody spent so much time in just doing the packing and figuring out how to really represent their product, the product must be really good. But the product sucked. You know, it wasn't even worth a penny. And it was, you know, priced at some you know, 
ridiculous 18 or 20 pounds. So just really bad. Compared to the, you know, here you've got beautifully designed earphones which are fully functional, uh, both from a design perspective as well as the output that comes out of it. So uh, really excellent on that. Uh, and I think the point that I was covering earlier is, uh, you know, because these don't these these earphones don't sit all the way inside the ear, so they don't really fit hundred percent and close the ear all the way through. And as a result of that, there is a bit of some leakage, and uh, you know that comes through. So of course, um, and sound isolation also take equal amount, takes equal amount of hit there. Um, isolation, of course, is that. Uh, you know, you don't hear the outside noises coming in. You, of course, hear them. Uh, and uh, uh, sound leakage is the, the music that is spilling outside. So if somebody is sitting right next to you, um, does that person hear all the music that you know, you're listening to? Uh, the answer is yes. Uh, but of course, it is not that if you're listening to a moderate volume, it will go outside. But if you're at 70, 80, 90% of the volume, it definitely, you know, other people can enjoy the music as well. Um, these are priced £23.99 uh, on Amazon UK, like I mentioned earlier, and they're worth every penny. Uh, going with you know anything lower was will definitely uh, compromise on the on the quality. The only complaint that I have with this personally is that to wear them, to wear anything on a neckband which is designed as you could see that this is flexible but it comes down to a single shape which means that its basic shape uh, that it expects to be in all the time is going to be just this which means that I, I can wear it like just like this I can't change anything because the moment I change it changes the way it's meant to be sitting in my ear and that to me causes a bit of problem uh, one that if you're if you it's cold these days. So if you're wearing a hoodie, if you're wearing a cap, and this sits inside the cap, I, you know, I had trouble wearing this after about an hour uh, because it would change the position. It will force it to, to sit even about a half a, you know, half an inch here and there. Uh, it will cause the um, the the insides of these uh, earphones to, you know, play with my ear a bit. Uh, wasn't very comfortable at the end of 45 minutes to an hour. Um, and that is my only only complaint but that's exactly how anything that has a neckband will work on it um, if you have a normal earphone which has a wire of course you would not have a problem with that uh, you know something like that you can always adjust it to the, to the way you want but of course the side effect is that you've got a wire hanging around on your neck you've got a control which is dangling on the other side but if you want something that you know stays out of your way uh, and you don't have to wear anything on top, you know, any cap or something like that. And you don't want something that goes and sits all inside your ear. Uh, you know, these fit that criteria perfectly. So sound quality is the biggest and the most impressive thing about uh, about these headphones from Orin Song. And they are available if you want to pick them up. Right. So that's it from my side. I hope this rant of a review was helpful for you. Uh, if there are any questions regarding this earphone, uh, please do leave them in the comment section down below. I'll be happy to answer. Uh, thank you for your time. You have a good one. See you later.